Hello and welcome. Today we've got a Mocky M18 5 amp hour battery that won't charge even though it's showing 18.7 volts. It's got one flashing light and like I say if I put it in the charger here. It's showing a fully charged light which you think that's okay but that's not okay because if you take it off it's still got the flashing light it means the board has not reset for some reason and more importantly it will not power at all so it's absolutely useless in its current state so if your battery is doing this there could be one or two things that are wrong one could be severe cell imbalance so if i just get this open and show you the voltage of the individual cells That's the top off now. So what I'm going to do now is check the banks of cells all the way down the board. Just to see. If we're getting a good balance. There's 3.82 in the first two. Middle one. Yes, 3.88. Near enough. And 3.7. Nothing's a little bit low. And 3.7. Then last two are a bit lower. That could be what's giving us the problem. I think it's cell imbalance in the last two banks. So what we've done is we've connected this to the balance charger and I've connected two of these banks of cells to bring them up. A little bit in voltage to match the rest. There's more tutorials on my channel. Uh, I have a battery, a free battery repair course. So you go to the playlist of my channel, shows you how to do all this. So we'll just put this right, and then we'll be ready to roll. We'll successfully get these up to match the rest. Now they're all 3.82 or thereabouts. So what I'm going to do is put it together, put it on the charger, and hopefully that'll fix this battery. Yep. So that doesn't do it. So it's not a cell imbalance problem. And when you're faced with that, you have one choice left. Only one choice is to replace the circuit board with this one. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Well, in the process of replacing the board, the first thing you have to do is take off the old board. You can cut them off with a flush cutter if you want. The advantage of the flush cutter it leaves a leaves a cleaner surface for you to attach a new one. Well, and the prying job, you know. Um, anyhow, there's two screws in this. You got to remove them. Got to get them off. There are T8 torques. And get these off. There's a long one, a short one. Yeah. And you have four points to desolder now. This, 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 and this. And there's a thermal thing here. You got to pry it. Because that's going to hold you to get it out. Touch the board too. Went a bit excessive in that, but anyway, you don't need as much as that. Got a bit excited.
Oh. I did something we don't want to do. I broke off a bit of this one here. But we can remedy that anyhow. We have a solution to that. Don't usually do that. But when it happens there is a solution. It can happen. But anyhow. What we need to do is make a make a connection for it. So we're making a connection for this one that I have broke off inadvertently. We'll just set that on there. I'll give her a little touch with a bit of solder. That'll be a connection made. There we are. It's easy enough. So we can attach that on and we can connect the three other three up. So what we've got to do is line these up now. What happens is we're accidentally cross connecting this a little bit. But like I say, it's not that serious. There we are. We'll get all three, which should be four connections connected, I think, now, have we? Nearly. We're nearly there. Also, there's two lugs that go on here to connect the board. So the one idea is get the two screws and screw it down now. When this there. So that's the board screwed down, we just have to reattach all the connections. We have to attach this one because we're already attached here. We have to attach it here and here, and here and here. And plus, last but not least, the positive and negative sides, here and here. So we'll start off here I think, get this down into position.
looking good. So I'll put it together and see if all is as it should be now. A good start. We'll stick in the charge now, you see what happens. And she's charging. I'm betting that's going to take a full charge now with the new board. And uh, we'll try it on a drill just to finish the job. I'm calling that fixed. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.